the church bells woke us up this morning they were ringing for ages i think i could hear people in my hostel getting up because of it as well but then i looked through my window and the sun was beginning to rise and i was like oh my gosh we have to walk down to the lake to see the sunrise it's absolutely beautiful it's so peaceful here there's barely anyone around me and dean were like the first ones here and there was like no one and it feels like everything is starting to wake up all you could hear was like the water trickling and all the ducks and the birds and the wildlife ah oh, so peaceful we're just walking back up from the lake from watching the sunrise there's a hot air balloon in the sky Good morning guys from Lake Bled in Slovenia. Today we're heading off to Ljubljana, the capital of Slovenia. There we'll be staying one night and exploring Ljubljana today and tomorrow. And then from there we'll be heading to Graz in the next episode. But first of all, we need to figure out how to get to Ljubljana from here in Lake Bled. Apparently we can get a bus from the bus station. So let's attempt to get a bus to Ljubljana, shall we? Looks like the information desk is closed. Mm, this isn't too promising. Uh, I hope we can go to Ljubljana from here. Uh, I think it may be a holiday uh, and this is Ljubljana, so I'm hoping we should be able to get it in the next half an hour. It's here. So that is the right bus, but he did say they go to Ljubljana, which is good. Uh, but we have to wait till 11 it sets off. So I was right, the bus timetable was right. We've got about 20 minutes because it's 10.41. So I think he's like having his break. So lots of people got off and then he shut the bus. So I think he's like having a lunch break or something. And then we should be able to be on our way. Now we're a little confused because two buses have come. This bus is very nice. It's very plush. Love it. Also, this looks like one of my characters. Looks like two eyes and a smiling mouth. Can anyone see it? Liana airport and that plane went to land and then took back off again I've never seen that before that drive was so scenic um, but it's currently raining which I'm a little sad about but we have to find our way to the hostel and apparently it's around 17 minutes away uh, on the walking so we better get walking hostel it's in the center of Ljubljana but we're heading straight out because we want to get some food it's a shame it's raining damn it we've been so lucky with the weather uh, it was 53 euros a night and uh, we actually have our own private shower which is uh, pretty cool uh, and yeah this is a private room very small but it's literally right in the heart of Ljubljana so we're gonna head straight out because we want to get something to eat so let's go shall we this is like a super old building Looks really cool. Not so cool when you're walking up three floors with your 
the cabin bag so so pretty though i love like old buildings like this i have absolutely been loving editing these travel vlogs for you and filming been really trying to up my game with storytelling and creating really beautiful aesthetic kind of vlogs and trying to tell a story through my vlogs and my travels and bring you along on the journey and i want to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor skillshare for helping me that possible for those of you who don't know what skillshare is it's an amazing online learning community with tons and tons of classes to choose from i have used this in my main business catnip as well whether it's photography storytelling art business lifestyle you name it skillshare has got so many different online classes for you to choose from after using skillshare for years now it literally serves me so many good recommendations honestly i always have such a plethora of videos to choose from like this wonderful storytelling through film how to create engaging videos for youtube he literally is talking about the cold open which is a technique i actually used in this very vlog so a huge thank you to skillshare for sponsoring today's video if you guys would like to actually try out a class for yourself and develop a new skill they are actually offering the first thousand people a uh, use the link in my description a free trial of skillshare so a huge Huge, huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's travel vlog. Now, let's get back into the adventure show. This little cute cafe looks good. You can sit outside and order at this little window. They've got like pastries and stuff in there. Anyway, the hostel is about a five minute walk from the old town. So I think we're going to head straight there and then find something to eat. Let's go. This is so pretty. We're like crossing over a bridge and there's loads of like beautiful uh, houses and buildings. There's a castle. How nice is that? I think we're gonna head down there and see if there's something to eat. Over here, look. Look how green that wall looks. It's a little river running through it. We just found this section of the old town which looks absolutely stunning but we need to find something to eat okay i think we might be in luck look how nice this porcelain shop looks as well how cool is that everything's gold they've like got a gold scooter outside but there's this slovenian restaurant here so i think we'll go here nice i love the floor how cool is it in here so these look very interesting they've got like this black uh, pudding sausage so I think I'm gonna try this with sour turnips and cracklings and pureed beans family beside me just got veal stew and it comes in a massive thing of bread and it reminds me of when we were in Poland and we got the hundred stew and it came in a lump of bread if you haven't seen that Polish food tour uh, definitely go check it out because it's really good uh, but I'm excited to try this black sausage I wonder if it just tastes like black pudding Dean salads come out and it looks like it's coated in cheese and here is my black pudding sausage on I think cabbage and I have no idea. It looks like just normal black pudding I feel like but more tough. I want to try it with a bit of everything. It does, it tastes different to the black pudding at home. It's quite tangy and salty and it's crumbly and it reminds me more of haggis but it's got a slight like oniony tang to it inside it's got the texture of haggis but outside it's a crispy skin i like this mashed stuff as well well that was super nice i got it boxed up so i can have it later on uh, definitely re uh, recommend that place if you want to try some slovenian dishes anyway now we're just going to have a little walk around old town we are here again tomorrow this town is beautiful we've got the bridge and everything to look at as well yeah it's stunning here look at this cute little gallery space inside's all picture frames and stuff looks beautiful in there outside this building here people are walking in so we're gonna walk in 
<laughs> oh, look at the doggy. Oh my god, so cute. Oh. It looks like some sort of museum or gallery. Oh, this is, oh, it's outside. What the heck? I was just about to walk in here, but this is outside, look, it's open. Look at this massive Christmas tree. This is a cool little section. It's got a little fountain, you can hear the trickling of the water. Or a well, is that a well? I'm guessing this is Ljubljana. Or at least Old Town Ljubljana. Whoa, is this inside? Ah, oh, it must have used to be outside though. You can hear the rain tapping on the roof. It sounds so good. Yeah, it's kind of like the town hall, I feel like. It's showing you everything about Ljubljana. It's really cool just to come and look at this place like this. It looks really cool inside. Anyway, oh, there's more through here. I didn't notice this door before. Oh, so there's also a fountain over here. Oh, it's a little fountain and statue. Ooh, but I've just spotted. <gasps> wow. Oh my god, that's cool. What the heck? Is this open too? How cool does that look? Imagine living here with the balconies. Is it a cafe? Oh yeah, like a cool, oh it looks so cool. Can we go for a coffee in there? We've just spotted, just behind us in the square, the coolest looking cafe inside there. Look at that. Okay, we have to go in there. That looks trendy here. This is so cool. A well, I'm guessing. I wish I knew the history of this. I wanna sit near the window where that view was of the courtyard. Oh, nice, it looks cool in here. A really old building, what a cool place to have a cafe. All right, let's see what we've got. Old Tom Sour. Is this not the coolest backdrop ever? My first impression's a lovely eye. Absolutely stunning. There's still apparently bridges and other bits to explore, but we have got all day tomorrow as well because then we'll be getting a Flix bus to Graz on the evening, on the night time at 7 pm. So we've still got all day tomorrow. But yeah, the other end of Ljubljana is more city, um, generic kind of city type, but the old town. Beautiful. Oh, I'm so jealous. Dean's chai latte looks insane. Cheers, Dean. First day in Ljubljana. I think we're gonna have another little walk around and have a little shop, maybe. Uh, maybe go here, Dean. Oh, it's that annoying type of rain, you know why it's really drizzly. I've noticed these honey shops everywhere as we're walking around in Slovenia. Apparently, there are tons of honey beekeepers here in Slovenia, so that's why you see them. Vintage kilo shop. Second hand clothes. Oh, second hand clothes. Let's go, let's go. Ooh, shopping in a really cool place. It reminds me of Poland a bit. Second hand shop. Whoa. <laughs> and a really cool car at the side of the second hand shop. Whoa. I want it. But it's a bit too hot. So I'm not going to get it. These right here are like my favourite shops to go in. Oh, it's so cute. I want to get one of these. You can do it as a wine glass or like a little top. Oh, so good. Oh, that looks cute. Nice. Is that a shop in the background? Look at all the buildings at the top. All the windows and the shutters. This is such a lovely little old town. Just been looking down this little side street and there's like some sort of, oh, I think this might be where the river is. Oh wow, it looks so pretty. Oh my god, it's so pretty. <laughs> I'm totally blown away by Ljubljana. Whoa, so cool. This would make a really good thumbnail. I think we're gonna sit right here outside 
and stuff that overlooks the river. So we're sat in Cafe Romeo just by the river flowing through here. And I have to admit, Lucchiana has totally exceeded my expectations. I had no expectations anyway. I didn't do much research on the city. We haven't even seen all of it yet either. We've still got a full day tomorrow, so watch out for that vlog. One thing that's really interesting is just how many languages the people, the service here can speak. The majority of places we've been to, they can speak English, Italian, German, which makes sense seeing as though well they border Italy and Austria um, and Croatia. I've really enjoyed our time here so far. I'm super excited that we've got pretty much the whole day tomorrow to explore as well before our late bus. So. Also, Ljubljana got voted as one of the greenest cities in the whole of Europe. So that was pretty interesting. Oh, how nice is this though? Everything's all lit Oh, It's only like 5pm but it feels like super super lit. But even the bridge is all lit up. Looks so pretty. Anyway, we're actually heading back to the hostel, but first of all, we need to find a supermarket. There's loads of stalls selling like spice hot chocolate and stuff all the way down the side of the river. Oh, gas fire on it. Wow. Oh, yeah. Just on the top there as well is a lovely Anna Castle. I don't know if you can see it. It's all changing colours. Wow. What the heck? It's beautiful here. There's the lovely Anna Castle. Wow. Honestly, it's so cool here, isn't it, Dean? There's the river just there. And you can get boat tours. Wow. Oh, look, a boat. Whoa, that was perfect timing. What the heck? I want to get on one. Bye, boat tour. See you tomorrow. In our hostel, it looks like there's like no one here, so it feels like we've got the whole hostel to ourselves. But I actually know some people are in the dorms over there, but at the minute everyone's out, so it kind of feels like we've got the whole hostel to ourselves. I thought I would show you the cool water bottle that I ended up getting from that shop. It's so cool. I literally couldn't resist it. Also, how cool are the doors? I love how like all the world is places, this hostel. This is what I got. This is not sweat. It looks like it. It's rain water. You can see where my coat was folded like this. Anyway, it's this really cool water bottle. That's Dutch apparently because we need a water bottle. We've been carrying around two plastic bottles. I used to have a Chili's water bottle, um, but I lost it. But watch this. This is why it's so cool. You can take this off. And it's a wine glass. Is that not the coolest thing? So then you've got like a little cup. But if you don't want to use a wine glass, you can just use it as a normal bottle. How good is that? What the hell? I thought that was super cool. Anyway, why everyone's out, let me show you how cute this hot hostel kitchen is. Look at, oh my God, I just nearly tripped over too, Dean. I see what you mean. A little cozy kitchen. You got some microwave, some sugar, some salt. I really like hostels. I like the vibe in a hostel. Anyway, we have had a great first day in Ljubljana. Honestly, I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to explore it tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already to follow along on this journey. We're going to be doing so many fun trips in 2023, including, seeing as though we're so close to Italy, an Italian road trip, which I'm super excited for. And we're going to try and prep the van as well. For those of you who enjoy our van life vlogs, we're going to prep the van and for the first time, we're going to be taking her into Europe. Right then. Thanks so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye.